tutor in the Spartan, and the Athenian, Lotan in the Macedonian, and Alexandrian, or Thieving in the Teradalian Thorax. Dirty Adian in the Curassa, Cocoromus, the Pitiado. brothers and sisters of the order I am Templar and welcome back to another review video and yes uh, the title is true this is actually finally a review on a Greek Lionel Thorax I've been wanting one of these for so long and I finally got one this is made by Lords of Battles and this is a really cool one I actually saw this on Cult of Athena and this was brand new they had it out there and I immediately saw it and I knew I had to get it and yes now, uh, the measurement design system is a little different. It has medium, large, and extra large. Now, it, the bigger you go with the large, uh, as soon as you get to the extra large, it's going to have different prices. For example, I got this in a medium size, since I'm a size medium. And as well, I, uh, it was around 249 while the large is uh, 297 And I think the extra large is uh, 348 I want to say. So yeah. Now, in truth, this is entirely made out of leather. However, that's actually uh, probably a good thing. <laughs> Why? Uh, kind of obvious. Uh, if this was made out of glue, glued linen, this probably would fall apart due to the humidity here in Texas. So yeah. Now, in truth, though, actually, they have linen panels on the exterior that are actually sewn in, of which are also glued and sewn, which is really cool. It's uh, both on the front and the back which is really cool, and in fact, it has the side ties as they're supposed to be made. However, uh, unfortunately, uh, Lords of Battles, what I had to do is duck off a point, uh, because in truth, you're not supposed to have the side panels for tying on both ends, just the one, especially the only on the left. So if you, uh, if any of y'all are part of Lords of Battles or give them a message for me, uh, or if Lords of Battles, y'all have seen this, can you please fix this for future, uh, customers. Now, in truth, I really do like this because of the <laughs> leather tassel also. However, I really like this because of the Gorgon head right in the middle. This is really awesome because this, if any of y'all know what a Gorgon is, uh, think of the creature Medusa, for example. So, yeah, this is actually really cool. Uh, now, uh, as you can see, I will be doing a little bit of a video uh, very soon uh, to show you all how this feels and all that and the Greek equipment of the time era. Now, all that I need now for, say, the movie, uh, for, say, the Spartan 300 or, say, the Battle of Marathon, Thermopylae, or, uh, whew, technically any form of battle during the original Hoplite, or including even maybe uh, the Carthaginian military or and such, is a Hopalon shield. Now, in truth, yes, I need a Hopalon shield for this. I do not have one yet. Now, in truth, I do have a late Greek Hopalite shield, but that's a late model that was used by the Greek uh, military of Alexander the Great. So, yeah. Now, in truth... Uh, to, to add extra armor to this, what the Greeks actually would have done is that they would have actually put, uh, well, scales right here in the said torso region to actually make it stronger, especially in the belly. Why? Kind of obvious. You don't want to get uh, yourself skewered. Now, in truth, this was actually, this is kind of funny. I little find this a little ironic and funny, is that uh, this armor used to be the cheap soldier's armor while bronze armor or iron was the uh, expensive uh, type armor, but now uh, it's kind of backwards because this is now more expensive than the plate armor I see on Cult of Athena. Now, I bought this on Cult of Athena, and actually, I fell in love with it. Now, I'll leave a link down below for y'all if y'all wanted to buy one of these. Uh, if Don't worry, y'all. If any of y'all are overseas, uh, Cult of Athena does ship overseas. So, yeah. Now, uh, in truth, this is actually really cool because the Gorgon head is technically made from solid brass. There, that is actually really cool because I actually do like this very much. Uh, now, in truth, though, this thing actually has a really cool look all 
the way around. Because look, the Gorgon head in the front, you got the shoulder guards up here, you got the back neck guard. As well, the back neck guard is held in place by these leather ties, which is really cool. Now, when I bought this, I thought to myself, ah, oh, should I spend my money on this? Should I? Should I really spend it? And yes, I did. And I'm happy I did. Now, though, uh, they could have gone a little more historical accurate-wise, but all in all, I actually do like it. But how about this? How about y'all actually see the video and actually understand what I mean? Uh, Templar, could you please? Well, guys, as I said, I am now in my armor, this new Lionel Thorax armor. Uh, now, I might actually switch out this tunic for my Macedonian or uh, Mediterranean tunic that I made to make it a little more better because this thing is a little long still. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is really awesome. I'm wearing my greaves on me, which is really cool. Now, this is a really cool armor. It's light. Now, the one problem I had with it was putting it on because it's right to the side. However, it's on two sides, which is not a really cool thing. Uh, in fact, uh, in historical wise, it would have only been on one side. Why? Well, in truth, the knot tying would have been on to the left because this is where my shield is. I don't need to worry about tying it over here because, well, if someone's going to attack me here, it doesn't matter. Now, in truth, they would have actually, uh, as I stated, they would have actually put scales on the stomach area to actually uh, cushion the blow a little more. But, in truth, this is a really good armor. Now, we can see why Hoplites love this, especially when they were fighting against the, well, the Persians. And as well, we can see why this armor was actually used by many cheap or uh, lower class citizens of the Hoplite legions. And of which I need, uh, which, well, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the movie 300 and its runner-up, they should have put this in it. Because this looks really cool, especially with the Gorgon head. You gotta know, that looks awesome. <laughs> but yeah. Let me put on my helmet now. Oh, it just feels more Greek now. And now let me get my Macedonian phalanx type shield. Along with that. Alright, and now my falcata. Now, I hear many of you already. Templar, where's your spear? Uh, yeah, uh, Macedonian phalanx, uh, they would have actually had a extremely long spear. I don't actually have that yet. I might have to get my cousin to actually make one. In fact, he loves doing these things for a challenge. So, uh, yeah, because it, it, in fact, it might be a little hard for him, seeing as though uh, I have to give him the precise measurements and all that. So, yeah, and he does this all by hand, ladies and gentlemen. So... Uh, yeah, I like to give them a challenge like this. Anyways, uh, but yeah, as you can see, this thing is fully operational. I can move left, I can move right, I can sweep. Oh. I have to watch out for the plume of my helmet in the process, and I don't want to hit the ceiling fan, but how about this, I just take off the helmet. Oh, because that actually helps out a little. Now, in truth, what I can do is I can easily swing upwards, I can thrust, I can cut from the sides, like so, I can chop downward from the downward chops. This is actually a perfect type of way. Now if you think about it, if I was, say, in the Macedonian phalanx, I would have had a two meter long or longer type spear. Uh, now, in truth, uh, let me get this shield fixed a little so I can actually show you what I mean with my own type of spear. Now, if none of you understand the Macedonian phalanx, its spears were extremely long. However, I'm just going to use my uh, regular type of spear to show what I mean, what it might have looked like. Because, in truth, this would have been perfect in the shield formation because of the said armor. It was light enough, but yet durable enough, to help me. Now, say for example, this is a the said long spear of the Macedonian phalanx. And in doing so, here's the thing. Uh, look, the shield protects my entire left side. To my right, however, I now got this problem. So, 
yeah, I would actually have to deal with that. Still though, this is really cool because I do like this armor, and in fact this would have been even used by the 300 Spartans, or technically a uh, thousand Spartans strong and their allies and such, because there are many stories of how many their aura truly had been instead of what we hear from the movies. Which I really don't like the movie a lot. I, I like the, so, the the story linked into it and the uh, songs, but they really need to put some real armor in there. And this is really cool, and especially with these flaps. Now, in truth, this is entirely made out of leather, as I stated. However, it's covered with this, uh, I want to say, fabric. So that way it looks like it's, well, a Lionel Thorax. Now, I know this is cheating, but in truth, I couldn't get, uh, well, Depika or Lord, or any, uh, Wolfland, or actually any group t to, uh, make it, which is actually a disappointment, because I was looking for something, well, as historical as this, which I love the line of Thorax, because it's so cool, so, yeah. But anyways, how about we get right to the video, back to our uh, other part of the video with a review, shall we? Anyways, Templar, can you please talk to them through it, shall you? Thanks, Templar. Wait a minute. Am I Templar or is he Templar? Eh, who knows. Anyways, hopefully you like that little uh, armor video type thing. I actually hope you all can actually buy something like this also. Now, uh, in truth, this is actually really awesome. As I stated prior, uh, now in truth though, um, one problem I had while wearing this armor in general was the fact, uh, here's the thing, I had my AC on and on the max and I was still sweating like a pig, uh, especially in the Greaves area where my entire leg was technically sweating and as well through here. And, that's the thing. Uh, I actually took a shower because uh, before I actually started doing the video, and holy crap, I already stink. So, oh man, uh, you can just imagine of how much of a rancid smell I got right now. So I'm gonna have to take a double shower. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Now, in truth, if you all want to buy something as cool as this, be my guest. Because here's the thing: I love buying this and. I promise y'all I will be doing a, uh, well, how-to video on how to dress as a Greek hoplite soon, or even a Macedonian phalanx. Now, for the Macedonians, with that, I just need a long enough spear. As I said, my cousin will hopefully want to try and do something like that. Uh, but as well, I might also need to get my hands on some historical style of swords. Now, I already have my falcata, but I need a scabbard or a sheaf, as I, they would put it. Though, I can also look at a Greek Xephos, I guess. But I don't know why. I'm more of a falcata guy. But yeah, I'm still looking in the market for a falcata uh, scabbard, which is very hard to find. Especially one that hangs like a baldric down the shoulder of which I like that the most. Now, in truth, I will be planning on doing, say, the Spartan Phalanx and the Athenian Phalanx, the Theban, and all that, and show the difference on how they would have actually told the, told the difference on the battlefield and such. Uh, but yeah, uh, as well, I will also leave links down below for the equipment I actually showed. Now, also, as I stated, I will probably try and do a Carthaginian, or including an early Roman military-type uh, equipment that would have been used. So, yeah, I'm kind of hoping to actually show y'all the many cultures this armor would have seen. In fact, this would have seen the Greeks, this would have seen Alexander the Great's empire, this would have been seen with the Spartans at Thermopylae, and Marathon also with the Athenians as well. This would have been used by the early uh, Roman military especially. However, some weird reason why they got rid of it is kind of weird. I'm probably going to have to make another video on that, really. And as well, the Carthaginians loved wearing this. However, they rather later went to male, such as the Lorica Hamata. So, yeah, we can see why. But... Anyways, y'all, uh, please stay tuned for more videos, because I do actually have a few more, uh, 
which I'm pointing at some of them right now. Uh, no, you can't see them on screen, which is probably a good thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, about maybe five left, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I, I want to I wanna keep it a little suspenseful for y'all. Uh, but as well, I hopefully will be making more videos on these very soon. Anyway, guys, hopefully to see y'all in the next one. Like and subscribe. Also, click the bell button for more notifications. As well, check out our Facebook. That way you can actually uh, know what next video we're going to do next. As well, guys, if you want me to talk about any type of culture and history and their arms and armor and actually buy them, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be happy to do so. As well, if you want me to, uh, well... I want to say do a video on say the military and such of a said group from point A to point B. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, I will be happy to do that, and as well any form of history, I will be happy to, even if it's ancient legends or if y'all want me to do a fantasy Friday video with say Avatar or this and that. In fact, I, I'm technically what you might call a history nut, and when I see something in history, I go for it. Anyways, uh. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been Templar. Have a great day, and hopefully see you all in the next one. See ya!